Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl. I'm Sally. Today I have a review and flip through of a book that was sent to me from the wonderful Chelsea Geldine. Now, if you've been a long time viewer of my channel, I had another one or the very first one of Chelsea's books um, that I reviewed in February 2023 and it was this one which was the Object Arrangement Seek and Find Colouring book. So the full review is in my Adult Colouring Flip Throughs playlist and it's dating back to February 2023 if you want to see that one but Chelsea has released a new book and she um, reached out to me and asked if I would like a copy and of course I said yes please and she sent it through so I do appreciate that Chelsea because I understand um, you're in the States and I'm in Australia so I know it is a bit expensive and a bit of um, an awkward task sometimes to send things through so I really do appreciate that you did send this through to me and Chelsea's new book is Alphabet Adventure Seek and Find Colouring Book. So just looking at the back, here are the details. Um, it's colour your way through the amazing world of Chelsea's Alphabet Adventure Seek and Find Colouring Book. A brand new adventure awaits you with the turn of each page. There are 15 objects listed below each picture. It is your quest to find every one of these objects and colour them in. Go ahead and grab your colouring utensils and do not forget to have fun. Very important message because, yeah, or should always have fun. Oh, I just realised you live in Florida. So, uh, Chelsea, I hope you are safe um, with all of the weather being thrown at you guys at the moment. So, yeah, my thoughts there for you in Florida. And, yep, yeah, I don't know where Fort Myers is in relation to the uh, hurricane. Either way, if you are anywhere near the hurricanes, I hope you're safe. So what this book does have, it's got 26 intricate illustrations, obviously if it's the alphabet, 26 letters, includes over 400 objects to find plus bonus items, gives the reader the option to colour in the entire page, is anxiety reducing and relaxing, boosts creativity, increases hand-eye coordination, is suitable for both adults and children, and educates young people about new words. So, love it. Now... As per the last book, I do believe, yeah, the last couple of pages are the answers. So that's all you'll see of that. <laughs> so we'll move to here. Oh, there's bonus items. I guess that's not giving it away if I show that right now. And then you've got your images. So that's the one for Z or Z, however you like to say it. And they are really cute images and really detailed quite nicely like there's a lot on the page for you to have to look for the item so you're not going to have it too easy but also I don't think it's going to be like frustratingly hard um, which I like it's sort of that nice balance And um, once I have done the flip through here, I will do one on camera with you. And I think I'll choose the letter S because that's what my name stands starts with. Stands for no starts with. So I do love the little images. They're very cute. I will also put uh, Chelsea's socials in the, the description box if you're interested in finding this book for yourself or any of her other art projects she does have a etsy store and also instagram that i got from her last book i've got the details in there so i'll put those links in the description as well yep so there is your flip through um it's single-sided got a I always appreciate that so it won't matter if you use an alcohol marker or something to bleed through as long as you put your back page on it it will all be good let's go to the letter S there we go and let's do the letter S together I bought over my art line sticks 
colouring or brush markers. Um, I'm going to use, I'll just use the one colour and we'll go with purple being that it is my favourite colour. This one is probably more purple than that one. That one's a nice colour too. <laughs> I might use both of them. Let's use both of them. And I will put just a piece of paper on the back just in case because although they're water-based markers, they, I, I guess they can still leak through. So yeah, let's have some fun and do this one together. If I need to, I will make this into like a time lapse um, if I find that I am taking too long or not talking enough we can always you know speed it up a bit here is the skull and also my coloring is going to be very bad because as you can tell I've still got my thumb brace on but the good news on that is I have got a referral to get an injection that will hopefully fix it all up maybe that purple's a bit too dark but we'll see so that was skull done yay oh, and this scarf right here so really you can use anything i guess to color in your images you can have a different color for every piece if you want i wonder if yeah spatula is there so if you got two pieces that are close together like that which i do i might move the other color purple and yeah as i said very wonky very funky coloring <laughs> so what can i do but then again also if you once you've done and found all your bits you can color in the rest of the page if you want to as it says so so what i like about these books is they're like a puzzle as well as coloring so yeah you can just color it in as you want to use it as you're supposed to in like terms of use it as your seek and find multiple things you can do for me i've been just using it as the seek and find because I, I like the puzzle aspect of it so that's what i'll do with this one as well shovel now see it's steak that is the meat steak not the steak that you put through a vampire's heart just so you know i might actually get a third color and use them what color let's go bright pink so when i find those ones i'll put them in the bright pink color so soy milk so soy milk goes in this color so you see you can do things like this as i said different color for each object or different color for each line of objects really doesn't matter it's up to you and as i mentioned earlier it's sort of a nice balance like it's not too hard that you'll get annoyed and not want to do it um but it's also not too easy that you're instantly just spotting things because i've had to look i've had to use my eyeballs this would be also good to do if you want to just chill out whilst listening to podcast or watching some youtube videos dare I say watching my YouTube videos <laughs> and you can do this whilst you watch that I want to find this steak so that I can put this purple away there's the sink what color is the sink the sink has to be this color bet you because I want to find the steak it'll be the last thing I find always works like that and then again you guys watching at home might have spotted it already and are yelling frantically at the television or the computer monitor or wherever you're watching this video i know one of my uh, viewers and patrons queen e designs was yelling very loudly at her television when i did my puzzle video uh, a couple of videos back because she worked out what i hadn't worked out about the top layer of the puzzle so yeah she was um, screaming at the television but isn't that always the way you watch something on a youtube video and you can spot something before the person in the video spots it but of course obviously it's pre-filmed so you can't do anything unless it's a live stream then you can yell out but I, I you know i found it in the end so you know i'm not completely hopeless just out of curiosity how is it going so it 
isn't it's showing on the back as you can see um, but it's not leaking onto this paper and that's with the water-based markers so I probably didn't need that paper but I still always do it if I'm using anything that has like ink wet ink involved also I think this is printed in uh, the US I wonder if it says I'm just oh no this was actually printed by Amazon Australia in New South Wales and I've only can go by what people I've watched on other videos have said I think the Australian paper is a little bit better than the American paper what they print coloring books on in America only because of what like I said what I've he heard other people say about the quality of papers with things they've got from Amazon so maybe ours is slightly thicker I, I don't know So what have I got left? I've got steak, sock, spaghetti, sandwich, skateboard, and surfboard. done page is done and as it says on the book on the book itself or if you want to you can color in the rest of the page if you wanted to do each item but that's where I'll leave it because I like to do it as the puzzle book so there you have it there is Chelsea's latest book alphabet adventure so you can find a coloring book by chelsea geldine thank you once again chelsea for sending this through i love these type of books it, it's different than just standard coloring it gives you something else to do in a puzzle form so i'm always happy to for that because it makes your brain think a little bit more as well good for your neuroplasticity so i We'll leave links to everything in my description. Check it out if you're interested in getting this book for yourself. Once again, thanks, Chelsea. I do appreciate you reaching out to me, especially given that I'm in Australia and I know that it could be a bit different or a bit awkward, I should say, um, in logistics, but I do appreciate it. But that's it from me for this video. So all the usuals, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. If you're interested in supporting my channel further, I do have a Kofi and a Patreon account set up and the details are up here on screen. But until next time, everybody, please stay safe, stay weird, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.